Far Cry 5 Lost on Mars. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Journey into space with Lost on Mars, the second DLC pack for Far Cry 5. Leave Earth behind and go toe to claw against Martian arachnids to save the world from an alien invasion. Soar over the dunes and canyons of Mars in your jetpack. Blast deadly arachnids with lasers and save mankind while you're at it. Yes guys, this is the second of three DLCs for Far Cry 5 that you could have bought with what I thought was a great deal on the uh, season pass. Uh, if you remember, I did a video on that probably about a year ago. Um, as it's turned out so far, the first DLC, which was the Vietnam one, was not very good. And this one is even worse. So let's hope the last one, the zombie one, is actually a decent DLC. Because this one, no. no. Let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What, what do you do? Well, you play as Nick Rye and Herc's in this from the main campaign. Now, Herc is quite funny. I mean... He had me laughing. Basically, to cut a long story short, Herc's been, this isn't a spoiler, you get to know this instantly as soon as you play the game. Herc has been captured by aliens and dissected into bits. You've got to find his body parts on on Mars. He's still alive. His head's on like a, a little jet pack because these aliens have kind of saved his consciousness and are wanting to help him and put him back together. And you get beamed to Mars. I know it's ridiculous. And you have to find his body parts. You're given a pistol that looks like a very cheap hairdryer. And you have to use that pistol to get your foothold on Mars. And you do this by doing stupid little fetch quests and climbing towers. Yes, guys, the infamous towers from Far Cry are back. There is a shit ton of them to climb in this mission. And you have to climb all the way up them and click the little f***ing pointless thing at the top where you'll get a little tiny mini cutscene. It's awesome. Awful. Absol I mean, just... Hey, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, come here a second, will you? Yeah. Go f*** yourself with your f***ing towers. F*** up your rectum. At the top of each tower, there is a 3D printer. Now, whatever money you've acquired uh, by killing these arachnids, you can spend on a new weapon. Now, all the weapons were designed by a hairdresser. They all look like variations of a hairdryer. And... To be honest with you, when you fire them, they feel like variations of a f***ing hairdryer as well. The gunplay in this game is absolutely f***ing hideous. Can I just say that? It is absolutely awful, the gun. The guns are wank. Absolute wank. They sound like wank, they look like wank, and they shoot like wank. I mean, the, only the shotgun really is remotely satisfying, but these arachnids, especially the queens, are just ginormous bullet sponges. So you spend each battle, and it takes ages to kill them, throwing grenades at them, firing your shotgun at them, getting a bit of distance, hitting them with sniper rifles, jetpacking around the place, because you do get a jetpack and a wingsuit, which does make uh, scaling the towers a lot easier later on in the game. But the gunplay, the combat, is mind-numbingly boring. When I started playing this first with the pistol, it wasn't too bad. Herc, who follows you around, is a little companion who helps shoot things uh, when, once his head gets put into a, uh, a little fly ball thing. Um, it was I was pretty decent. I was quite enjoying it at first. But after about two hours, I realised that I'd kind of gone in on myself. And it was only when I died, I, I actually died, and I I swear that there's no way I would have ever died playing a game like this, but I actually died in the game, and that woke me up. It was like, oh, oh, Mac, what are you doing? You, you've died there because you almost fell asleep. And, and this, this is true, I'm not just trying to have give you a laugh. The truth is, I outwardly started to go in on myself. It was almost like an implosion, because I was so bored. I was doing exactly the same thing. Over and over, climb up a tower, press the button at the top of the tower, avoid the pterodactyl flyy things, shoot them all, jetpack off, wingsuit across to the next little thing, go in there, get the little power core, shoot the arachnids, shoot the arachnids, shoot the arachnids, get to the tower with the power core, jetpack up the tower, put in the power core, jump off the tower with your wingsuit, oh there's a mission over there, let's go and do the mission, shoot the arachnids, shoot the arachnids, oh there's a queen, five minute fight, five minute fight, use your hairdryer, use hairdryer on queen, and then get the power core, 
climb up the tower, well jetpack up the tower, shoot the pterodactyls, go to the printer, get a better gun, jump off the tower, wingsuit to the next place, shoot the pterodactyls, shoot the queen, five minute battle, get out your hairdryer. That was it. And I was doing this and I was in a trance. I was in a f***ing trance doing this because that's all you do. That's all you f***ing do until you get a, a half decent side mission that might take you back into the world of Far Cry 5. I'm not going to put any spoilers in about what you do and all that, but basically, guys, it is a boring looking planet. Well, it's the red planet, let's be honest. It's f***ing red with some rocks. And to make things slightly interesting, if you touch the sand, it's like tremors. The arachnids come up. Uh, from under the sand and attack you. It is nowhere near, it's not even in the same league as the Prey DLC that I reviewed earlier on a few months ago. That had a similar theme where you happened to stand on the soil, or the, soil the sand, or a, a monster would come up and get you. That was done way better than this. This is just boring. Guys, it's just, I wanted to like it. I mean, you know me, I love Far Cry. I'm, I'm a massive fan. I'm Far Cry's biggest fan, to be honest with you. I love Far Cry, but it's getting a bit long in the tooth now guys it's just it's just shit it's just absolutely shit it really is i just can't get over it it's not even worth a, it's not even i wouldn't even play this if it was free if this was free i wouldn't play it it's the gunplay is hideous the the arachnids are just bullet sponges and the boring as fuck to shoot it's just there's just no real effort put into it it's just a, it's just a game add-on for the sake of being a game add-on it's just the, i mean honestly guys they shoot you and you just move out of the way you shoot them and then they don't move out of the way so that's how a gunfight goes against these arachnids they will spit stuff at you they won't come running at you i mean I, i've hardly ever had a situation where i've had to jump out of the way of them it's only the queen sometimes does that most of the time you are standing on a fucking rock shooting them with your hair dryer and it takes three or four shots to kill the the drones they will fire at you every two seconds and when you see them fire you just sidestep one step to the left and it misses you shoot 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 sidestep left shoot 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 sidestep left shoot 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 sidestep left shoot 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 sidestep right shoot 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 sidestep right shoot 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 jump up in the air shoot 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 jump up in the air shoot 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 sidestep left you do that for fucking hours and hours and hours it is co-op, but I don't think I'd ever be able to persuade anybody to ever, ever play this co-op with us. It's just, why would you? It, it does have a couple of quirky guns. There's a one that turns the enemies into exploding cows. There's a another a, a, a one that has an exploding chicken in it. And there's a few funny things. I mean, I actually thought um, Herc was hilarious uh, at the beginning. It is funny, but guys, overall, it just isn't. It just isn't so it's not enough it's not enough so there you go guys lost on mars i would buy it oh sorry did i say I, yeah i'll just clarify what i meant to say was i <laughs> i wouldn't buy <laughs> it's a joke Fuck off it's a joke I, i'm leaving it in i wouldn't buy it though these guys party hard man like too hard you know what they used to do they used to blow blanco up each other's buttholes before shows Singer said he did it to protect his voice, man, but I still couldn't figure out why the drummer was doing it that way.